Carmichael here, and I have got something so fun in this box I thought I would share it with you. So thanks for joining me for my first guitar, guitar unboxing, unboxing video. <laughs> All right, so obviously generic box, so let's see what's right inside of this big box. This is from the Yamaha Corporation. You know what that means. It's a piano! Okay, well maybe it's not. <laughs> uh, obviously it's uh, a guitar, and uh, this here thing doesn't even tell you what model it is, so I know what it is, but let's open it, to, and we'll pretend it's a surprise for all of us. Alright, let's check it out. A ribbon cutting ceremony, don't you think? All right, here we go. Now, check it out. Look at that. Look at how nice it's put into this box. Isn't that pretty? It's got a nice foam wrapper on it. All the lovely paperwork and even the little tools for the tremolo and for adjusting the truss rod, etc. Okay, now before I pull this guitar out of the box, I'm going to tell you why I chose this guitar. I was in the market for something that would not break the bank. And so after looking at, say, like a Fender Mexico Strat or a Fender Squire or a Squire Bullet uh, and other guitars in that space, I wanted to look at this Yamaha because they have been making an electric guitar called Pacifica since the 1980s, late 80s or, or early 90s. I think it's been around since 1990 actually. And apparently it is supposed to be uh, an amazing, amazing guitar for 200 bucks. So we're gonna check it out, ready? I'm just gonna throw that down the floor like a kid would. A kid would. Here we have it. This is the Pacifica 012. This is their most entry level guitar, but this is the 012 Deluxe. And what makes it deluxe, I suppose, is this violin finish, classic violin finish. It's almost like a sunburst, but uh, really uh, subtle. And then it has it has the black accessories, the black pick guard and pickup covers and knobs. So I would say that that's probably what makes it deluxe. I may get a surprise in here. Maybe there's something in this hardware that also makes it deluxe. I couldn't find enough information and enough reviews on it to determine if there was anything in the electronics that would separate it from the standard 012 line. Here you can see it's a, it's a classic HSS configuration, like Stratocaster. It's got this uh, humbucker and two single coil pickups. It's got a, a rosewood-like fretboard, and I do believe this is a, a different wood, and I'll look that up and tell you what that is. And then I, this black nut, which I guess is really part of the appearance, uh, is probably, it feels like a plastic. And so as long as it's cut well, we're good for that for a little while. Now, this is a little bit misrepresented in that in the photos online, it shows the classic handwritten, almost handwritten look of the Pacifica logo. This one has more of the updated geometric, you know, real modern sort of style. It's not as cute as I would have wanted with the other one. But I've been watching several videos on how to take this logo decal off without getting anywhere into the finish and then putting your own logo decal on it. So I'm going to possibly experiment with that. Or I might just take it off entirely and just leave the uh, Yamaha uh, geometrical bug here at the very end and just leave it like that. Close up look at this would show that the wood is not terribly modeled or it doesn't have a lot of grain. Uh, that really stands out, which is probably why they chose this dark violin finish. Real classic look, doesn't draw a lot of attention to uh, sort of the, the lack of, 
uh, all that grain in the wood, but it gives the impression of the cl that classic impression. The neck is, it, it's really gorgeous. It's really beautiful wood. It's got a little, you can see it's got a little bit of the grain showing here. Not very different or unusual, but what I'm hoping for is that playing it is different and unusual. So one of the things that makes this different from a Stratocaster is that it only has two knobs and only a, oh, this one has a five-way switch, which is really great. So I can emulate some of those classic Fender Stratocaster tones in the two and the four position. Okay, this is really put together nicely. It looks really beautiful. Uh, some of the things I can already imagine changing, like the machine heads, they're not very pretty. They don't feel good to the hand when you turn them. So the next thing that I want to do is plug this thing in and see what it sounds like. You ready for that? Great. I'm using a Roland Solid State Jazz Chorus 22. It's a little guy. Uh, and I'm going to play it clean for just a moment and let's test out all of these switch positions. All right, so let's go all the way back to this humbucker. Can't wait to hear it, ready? <laughs> drunk with a swollen tongue. but I'm not really a tremolo bar person so I'm actually more likely to uh, maybe if there's if this is a two spring under here I'm more likely to actually add that third spring and just let this thing be set uh, really stabilized because I'm a bender and uh, that's and I really need to get the stability from this uh, from this tremolo piece which also will save me from upgrading. So let's look at the effects here. I'm just gonna turn on a little bit of a drive and a little bit of a vintage delay. Time for a tune up. Right. 
This is going to be really fun to test out. Obviously, you know, that's just a fun few minutes on it. I have to play on it a bit to see what, you know, what I can really get out of it and what it might need in case it needs any sort of upgrades of any sort. I'm not going to upgrade these uh, machine heads because I just don't like them and they don't feel that great. They're okay. And, uh, you know, I'll use this nut as long as it's, it's cut well and the strings don't pinch or get pinched. I'm totally okay with that. I need to really look at uh, uh, these uh, frets, right? They're, they're, they have a little bit of a rub to them, uh, which I think can play out. I don't think I'll have to take any to any actual polishing, and I think I can just play that out. Uh, as for the frets, as they run up the fretboard on the top and the bottom, uh, it could use a little bit of uh, a rounding out, perhaps like with a sanding block, uh, just kind of a nice light block over it, and buff them down a little bit and buff the edges of the fretboard itself. It's, it could use a little bit of rounding, so I'm good with that. Okay, so that's, that's it. Thanks for joining me for this. Super fun. I'll get back with you after my fretboard work and we'll see how that improves. All right, cool. Kisses. And remember, guitars are for girls.